Magnetism. Part 1. In this part of the lesson, we'll be learning about what a magnet is, magnetic fields, laws of magnetism, magnetism, and Earth, the weak magnet. A magnet is a material or object that produces a magnetic field. A magnet is dipolar because it has two poles. They have a north and a south pole. The poles on a magnet are the areas where its magnetic strength is strongest because the magnetic field lines are most dense there. A magnetic field is the area around a magnet or moving electric charge where the force of magnetism is exerted. It can pull or push other magnetic objects. Magnetic fields are invisible, but they are responsible for the most notable property of a magnet, a force that pulls on other ferromagnetic materials such as iron, steel, nickel, cobalt, etc., and attracts or repels other magnets. Magnetic fields are represented by magnetic field lines. They are imaginary. The lines don't cross and they help us to visualize the direction of a magnetic field. The more tightly packed the lines are, the stronger the magnetic force. Magnetic fields always move from the north to the south pole. Magnetic field lines of a bar magnet above and here we have the magnetic field lines between on like poles. And here we have magnetic field lines between the like poles. Like poles repel each other. There are two laws of magnetism. The first law states that like poles repel. And the second one states that unlike poles attract. Magnetism is caused by the motion of electric charges within certain metals. It is the force of magnets. When objects are not in direct contact with each other, but forces still exist between them, they are categorized as non-contact forces. Magnetism is a non-contact force. It is a force that attracts certain materials such as iron, nickel, and cobalt. If a bar magnet is freely suspended, it aligns itself in the direction of the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth is a large but weak magnet. When you use a compass, the magnetic dial within it has both a north and a south pole. When the north pole of the dial feels an attraction, it makes us think that we are moving north. However, north poles are only attracted to south poles. Hence, what we recognize as Earth's North Pole is in fact Earth's South Pole attracting the North Pole of the magnet within the compass. The North Pole is really Earth's North Geographical Pole or North Seeking Pole because it is the South Pole. Additionally, when the South Pole of the dial feels an attraction, it makes us think that we are moving south. However, south poles are only attracted to north poles. What we recognize as a south pole is in fact Earth's north pole attracting the south pole of the magnet within the compass. Earth's south pole is really the Earth's south geographical pole or the south seeking pole because it is a north pole. Earth's magnetic field protects it from solar and cosmic radiation. 
It also provides a navigational reference for animals to find their way. Earth's magnetic field is generated by the motion of molten iron in the Earth's core. The Earth's magnetic field is measured in units of Teslas or gas. Comprehension What is a magnet? And how many poles does a magnet have? You may pause this video to answer the question. A magnet is a material or an object that produces a magnetic field. A magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. Comprehension Why is the strength of a magnet greatest at its poles? You may pause the video to answer this question. The strength of a magnet is greatest at its poles because the magnetic field lines are most dense there. Comprehension What is a magnetic field? What are the two laws of magnetism? You may pause the video to answer these questions. A magnetic field is the area around a magnet or moving electric charge where the force of magnetism is exerted. It can pull or push other magnetic objects. The first law states that like poles repel, while the second one states that unlike poles attract. Comprehension What is wrong with the picture below? You may pause this video to answer the question. Correct. The arrows are going in the wrong direction. They're supposed to be moving towards the south pole and not away from it. Magnetic field lines always go from the north pole to the south pole. Comprehension. What is a non-contact force? You may pause this video to answer the question. Correct. A non-contact force does not have to come in physical contact with another object for the force to exist. Comprehension. Why is the Earth a weak magnet? What are the benefits of Earth having a magnetic field? You may pause the video to answer this question. Earth is a weak magnet because the center of the Earth is filled with molten iron which by nature is a weak magnet and hence gives the earth its magnetic properties by extension. The earth's magnetic field protects it from the sun's solar and cosmic radiation and it also provides a navigational ref for animals to find their way. Part 2. Part 2 of this lesson explores types of magnets, permanent and temporary magnets, and magnetic induction. A magnetic material is a material which is attracted to a magnet or which can be magnetized. Nickel, iron, and cobalt are the only naturally occurring magnetic materials. This is because they have unpaired electrons in their outermost shell which have a magnetic moment and when these electrons align they can produce a magnetic field. Because of this nickel, cobalt and iron are all ferromagnetic which simply means that they have a high magnetic permeability. Other magnetic materials are alloys such as steel, which is a mixture of iron and carbon. Magnets come in a variety of shapes and sizes, bar, horseshoe, or U-shaped and ringed. There are two categories of magnets. You have permanent magnets and temporary magnets. Steel is a permanent magnet, while iron is a temporary magnet. Permanent magnets will remain magnetized even after the cause of magnetizing has discontinued. Its strength is constant, steel is an example of this, and it can be used to make clasps for jewelry, compasses, the black metal strip on the back of your credit card, 
doors of refrigerators and dishwashers, as well as ornamental articles attached to the refrigerators. A temporary magnet loses its magnetic properties when the cause of magnetizing is discontinued. Its strength is varied. An example of a temporary magnet is iron. Cranes, electric guitars, doorbells, microphones, generators, motors, loudspeakers, MRIs, telephones, televisions, and computer monitors use temporary magnets. Magnetism may be induced in some metals by a process called induction. Magnetic induction is a process by which magnetic properties are transferred from one body to another. Induction may involve stroking or the application of a current to a metal. Magnetism is a result of the movement of electrons. It is due to electrons spinning around the nucleus of an atom and also spinning around their own axis at the same time. When electrons are aligned and moving in the same direction, they are referred to as magnetic dipoles or domains and they create a magnetic domain which produces a magnetic field. Magnets contain domains slash dipoles. In magnetized metals, the domains or dipoles are aligned. While in metals that are unmagnetized, the tiny magnets referred to as domains or dipoles are not aligned. Inducing magnetism in unmagnetized metals causes the domains to align, making the metal become magnetic. And this can only happen for certain metals. Iron is a metal that can be magnetized by passing an electric current through a coil of wire to make it an electromagnet. The strength of an electromagnet is increased by three things. It's increased by increasing the amount of current being passed through the coil of wire around it. It's increased by the number of turns of the coil of wire around the electromagnet and by using a magnetic core inside of the coil of wire. An electric field is a physical field that surrounds electrically charged particles. Charged particles may be protons and electrons. It's an invisible force field that is created by the attraction and repulsion of electrical charges. The force fields go from the positive charges to the negative charges. Electricity and magnetism are two related phenomena produced by an electromagnetic force. A moving charge has both an electric and magnetic field. These two fields are related in an electromagnetic field. Together they form electromagnetism. A changing electric field produces a magnetic field and a changing magnetic field produces an electric field. Comprehension Look at the list below and indicate which of the metals are magnetic and which are not. You may pause the video to answer these questions. Correct! Nickel and cobalt are both magnetic well, zinc and magnesium are not. Circle the bar magnet below. And two, what is the difference between a temporary and a permanent magnet? Correct if you circled the first picture. A temporary magnet loses their magnetic properties when the cause of magnetizing is discontinued. While permanent magnets stay magnetized even after the cause of magnetizing has been discontinued. List some uses for permanent magnets and list some uses for temporary magnets. You may pause this video to answer the questions. For permanent magnets, you can use them for class for jewelry, compasses, the black strip of the credit card, refrigerator doors, dishwashers, and ornamental fridge magnets. 
and then some uses for temporary magnets include cranes, electric guitars, doorbells, microphones, generators, motors, loudspeakers, magnetic resonance imaging, which is MRI, telephones, televisions, and computer monitors. What is magnetic induction and list two ways in which magnetism may be induced? You may pause this video to answer these questions. Magnetic induction is a process by which magnetic properties are transferred from one body to another. Two ways in which magnetism may be induced are by stroking and by applying current to a metal that can be magnetized. Comprehension. What is magnetism a result of? And two, list three ways in which the strength of an electromagnet may be increased. You may pause this video to answer these questions. Magnetism is a result of the movement of electrons. It is due to electrons spinning around the nucleus of an atom and also spinning around their own axis at the same time. Comprehension. List three ways in which the strength of an electromagnet may be increased. You may pause the video to answer this question. Three ways in which the strength of an electromagnet may be increased are by one, increasing the amount of current being passed through the wire, two, increasing the amount of times the coil is wrapped around the electromagnet or magnetic material, and three, by using a magnetic core instead of the coiled wire. Thank you for watching this lesson. I hope you learned a lot. See you soon.